Final Fantasy XIII. This is Shiva signing in. I'm just about to show you how to basically um, use your ABT gorge to use your Adalons. So this is the tutorial that we're going through now. So Lightning can spend technical points, her TP down there, which is five at the moment, to summon Odin, her personal Adalon. Only Lightning can summon Odin. All right, so let's do it. We select techniques, go to summon, and we select Odin. Beautiful. So th let's have a look at Odin's battle style when he's in combat with Lightning as his partner. Great. Very exciting. So let's look at the next step. So it says take a look at Adalon's SP Gorge. Um, so it depletes gradually over time. Whenever he takes damage, if it reaches zero, he's dismissed. After sun summoning him, you can press X to activate the Gestalt mode at any time. This mode allows you to perform powerful attacks from the back of Adalon. Great. Pay close attention to Lightning's Gestalt Gorge. The Gorge represents Gestalt mode's duration, so your Adalon will disappear when the Gestalt mode expires, so it's best to activate it after the Gorge is charged. To charge it, help your Adalon attack enemies and build attack chains. Great. Combat controls are slightly different. Press the buttons shown by the Gestalt dial to execute attacks. Okay, so we'll see if we can... See if we can do that. So let's fill the Gestalt Gorge for Lightning. And then we can use our Gestalt mode. So we might do that soon because his SP is just about gone. So let's use we our powerful attack and see what happens. Okay, but let's have a look at what my attacks are. Ooh, what's this? Weird buttons. Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. Oh, enter, enter, enter. Oh. I have no idea. Backspace. E. G. <laughs> I have no idea what I just did, but I think it was okay. I definitely got them to stack here. <laughs> Until next time. Thanks, Odin. Okay. Well, anyway, that wasn't too bad, but um, definitely used to PS controls, so PC controls are very different. Okay, I'm just going to change my paradigm shift so that Hope can help me a little bit more. Ugh, hang on a minute. We might just need to heal. I've got your back. Actually, and then we'll get back into it. Get back on top. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, we're almost there. Just heal hope. Okay, and get back into it. Okay, so I'm just using dual casting for the moment because I'm just testing out to see what Ulan's um, weaknesses are. We did get him to stagger, so we'll continue attacking now and doing maximum damage and finish the fight. Great, he's done. So that was the first look at fighting with um, an Adalon. And you do get your technical points built up every time, as well as your Christogen points. So don't forget to keep developing your Crystarium. So we'll have a look at that now that we've finished this battle. We'll stop here. Sorry. 
Don't sweat it. I'll look around. You rest up. He's asleep. <laughs> Poor kid. How offensive. <laughs> Lightning probably hasn't slept a wink for many, many years. So we're still in the Vile Peaks at the moment, trying to find our way out, so I'm assuming that we'll go back to Saz and Hope. I mean, sorry, Vanille in the next episode. Or even Snow. Okay. Finally. So was I right? Back to Saj and Vanille? Yep. All right. So in the next episode we'll follow Sarge and Neil on the onward journey and we might get a glimpse of Snow again and see how he's going now that he's obtained the Shiva sisters as his personal aid along. This is Shiva, signing out.